Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C and welcome to another League of Legends video. So you want to know how to carry silver with Swain? Well, I'm going to show you how to carry silver with Swain. Yes, yeah! So we're going to play Swain in the mid lane because you can't really carry from the top lane and it's much easier to carry from the mid lane. So that's why we're playing Swain in the mid lane. So you want to take a mastery page similar to this with emphasis on Deathfire Touch. And then for summoner spells, let's take Ghost and Flash because guess what? That's what Faker did, so may as well copy the legend himself. So once you get into game, very simple. Just pick up a Doran's ring and two pots and head over to the mid lane. So in lane you can choose between starting with Q or E. My personal favorite is Q because it just does a lot more damage. But it will push the lane so be wary of those jungle ganks. And speaking of jungler ganks, is that Lee Sin coming from the right hand side? He's going to try and kill you. But you know, he's going to queue onto you and you're just going to flash away. We try to walk towards our jungler but he's not going to help us. But just take the easy route and flash straight away. Okay, so you've been poking down Annie with your Q. She's pretty low now. You're close to 6, so maybe you want to try and look for an all-in. The problem, though, is when you're doing it and she hits 6, you're more than likely going to die because Tibbers does a ton of damage and she has Ignite. So you're going to die, but it doesn't matter because we are Swain. Another reason for playing Swain in the mid lane is you want to take that blue because blue is so good on Swain, so you can spam out those abilities. So whenever blue's up, go and take that blue buff. So when you have the blue buff, you want to apply as much pressure as possible to the enemy mid laner. The problem with that is you're going to be altered and ganked from the Lee Sin. But you're just going to flash away, activate Ghost. You're a mastermind. You're going to activate your ultimate. You're going to run towards your jungler Trundle. And he's just going to pick up the free kill. Then after that, you can just heal yourself up off the enemy Tibbers. And it's too easy, you know. Too easy. So your top laner may be feeding is 0 and 4, but once you got a little bit of gold, you want to pick up that Rod of Ages. Rod of Ages is a huge, huge power spike on Swain, and once you get that Rod of Ages, you are a monster. So there may still be some problems you have to deal with in the mid lane, such as playing against Annie, who just tries to one-shot you every time. But that's why you take Ghost, and you're just going to walk away. Just walk away, back, and get your items, and come back to lane. So now Annie doesn't have ultimate, you want to apply as much pressure as possible. You're going to get ganked from the top laner now, but you are mastermind and you know your team is right there behind you. So you're going to bait the Vladimir and now he's going to have to pull. But what's he going to do after his pull is done? He's just going to die and Trundle picks up another kill. Your top laner may TP, which is a bit weird, but you're going to aim for the tower and try and take the tower down. Your top lane is a madman, so he's going to go for the all-in, but you may as well back him up and try and get something from it. You're going to take a lot of damage from the tower, but you're just going to flash away. Then you're going to heal off the tibbers, and you're going to live with barely any health. So once the game hits 20 minutes, you're farmed up, now you're pretty strong, you can start with the carrying. The enemy team's going to take Dragon, but I'm going to show you how to team fight with Swain. All you do is activate your ultimate and walk around, and you know, spam your Q and W as many times as possible. You're going to get a few kills, or your team's going to pick up the kills, but then the Lee Sin's going to try and 1v1 you. And that's absolutely crazy from a Lee Sin. He's going to try and 1v1 Swain, who's just absolutely broken. Good luck with that Lee Sin. Good luck with that, buddy. So at some point your team's just going to start getting caught out, but you're just going to buy that Spirit Visage and work towards that Zonyas and look to carry the game by yourself. So then the enemy team's going to try and siege down the mid inhibitor tower, but you don't care, you're Swain, you're going to go in 1v4 and you're going to pick up a kill on the support, you're going to have no idea how you got the kill, but you're going to take it anyway, and then your team starts believing, and you just go in there ham and do as much damage as possible, and tank up as much damage as possible as well, because you're just healing yourself, and you're going to pick up a nice and easy triple kill, as well as farm at the same time. So in the mid game you want to keep farming, a simple farming tip is Q, W and then use your ultimate to clear the whole wave. 
and your top laner may get caught out, but it doesn't matter, he may as well go AFK because you're going to carry the game anyway. So the enemy team is now not going to learn from their mistake, they're going to try and siege again, you're going to go in 1v4, this time you get ulted about 10 times, you're just going to flash out of there, heal a little bit, go back in, cast your W, stun the Vladimir, pick up the kill, live with 1 health, but it doesn't matter, 1 plus 2 calculated baby, mathematics. So once you get back to base, you just want to pick up that Zanyas, then just get a blasting one because you didn't have time to think and you just want to get back into the thick of things and get some more kills. The enemy team is eventually going to pick up the inhib, but a silver Lee Sin does what a silver Lee Sin does. My mind's telling me no. But my body, my body's telling me yeah. And that is start the fight. And once he does that, you just activate your ultimate, get in there, do as much damage as possible, run around, and you don't worry about dying because you're not going to die. You still have Zanyas, they are not doing absolutely no damage to you. You pick up a kill and you're going to get the stun on the Vladimir. Too easy, he's going to go down and your team just picked up two kills, baby. So since we bought that blasting wand, we may as well get the void staff. Uh, another recommendation as a fourth item would definitely be the frozen heart if you want to build more tankiness. Now since you've carried your team the whole way, they're going to start picking up some easy kills themselves. So once you have four items, you can pretty much do whatever you want. If you want to go in 1v5, hey, may as well, doesn't matter. They're going to use all their ultimates, Lee Sin ult, any ult. You're just going to Zonyas, and while you're Zonyas, you're still healing up. Then you just flash out of there, and now, what? They used all their ultimates, all their ults are down, and you've just done a ton of damage to them. From that, your team can just win the rest of the fight. In most cases after that, this will lead to a very easy Baron. The Lee Sin's going to do the Dragon because he's way too scared to contest right now because not only are you strong, but some of your teammates are strong now as well. So once you get Baron and you've now fed up some of your teammates, it doesn't really matter. You can just suicide, go in there, um, get altered about 50 times, die instantly, uh, do a ton of damage, and you're going to insta-pop the Annie as well. So the Annie's dead and you're dead. Um, but, you know, your Siva is now super, super strong, and she's just going to clean up the fight. Look at all those crits she's landing. There's a kill. There's another kill. There's a double kill. There's a triple kill. Is she going to get the quadra kill? She's going to flash, and look at this fade away. Oh, the quadra kill. So Siva's going to take all the glory, but you know in the back of your mind that you carry that game, and that's going to be GG. Well played. So there you go, guys. That's how you carry Silver with Swain in patch 6.10. It's very, very easy. Yes, yeah. That's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe.